I did a video a while back, well, not that long ago, um, about my, um, I bought a router, TP-Link R600, which was a standalone wired router. And I said I wanted this to go with my Unify wireless dish, which I was raving about. And I thought I'd just do a quick video. I know there's a lot of videos out there, but anyway, I'll do a lot a quick video showing you exactly what it is um, and how it works. So that's the dish I'm talking about. You can mount it on the wall or ceiling, wherever you want. It comes with a back plate, so that goes on the wall, and that simply uh, clips on the back of it like that, stays in place. And um, there's just one connection in the back there, which is for your Ethernet cable, and it just goes down the back there and clips in like that. And that supports power over Ethernet, which means it's getting the power and the network signal all down the one cable. And how does that work? So you get um, a little adapter with it. Uh, on the back is the, the power lead plugs into that. And then on the front you've got one port which is for connecting to your LAN. So that would go in there and then that would connect to the router itself. And the other one connects to the power over Ethernet. Well, that's how it's labelled PoE. And that's the one that goes to the actual dish itself. So that's carrying the power. Power is coming in from your electric socket, wherever you place that. But so you're not limited by an electric socket anywhere. So you can, you know, have as much run of cable as you want. Basically, you can put these anywhere, and they're great. So what is it? So it's an access point. So it's not a router, it's not a bridge. Um, uh, it's going to add Wi-Fi functionality to a router. Why would you want to do that? Well, as I said before, these all-in-one jobbies are never really up to it because there's too much money going into too many things for them to specialise in something. So when they're doing both wired and Wi-Fi, and it's all in one box, especially if it's, if it's come from your ISP or something, and you can pay up, you know, £200 plus for, for these things, they are never um, that hardened, they're never that reliable. In my experience, I'm sure there's some out there that, but on the, on the whole, you can generalise and say they're never going to be really up to the task, especially once you start adding multiple devices, which people do nowadays, you, you know, it's, you can have a dozen or more devices, and they're going to really struggle. Also, they're probably going to struggle um, going through walls and through distances. That's where these come in. You can lo locate them anywhere, and you can daisy chain them. So if you have more than one, um, the controlling software will handle all those different dishes in, in one and so you will get um, handover. So when I say handover, if you get their, their AC devices now, they won't do zero handover. So you, you might get a slight downtime or there's a slight glitch as you go from one access point to the other. Probably not, depending on the software and what device you're using. But if you get the non-AC dishes, they do support zero handover, so you don't get um, any downtime, any, any any glitching, which is great. But you can daisy chain as many of these as you want. And although these are really um, for designed for the enterprise level, so you'll get these in commercial buildings, in in restaurants, you'll get these, you know, in offices. They do work from a consumer level up, and the software is pretty good in that way. That with the basic knowledge you can configure it, but with advanced knowledge it's almost limitless what you can do. You could, and, I mean, you can even add their routers and their um, they do security gateways and stuff. You can add all that functionality. With a, if you just use your own router, for instance, I bought that wide router, £60, this is about £60, £120. It's only half the price of some of these top-notch um, router Wi-Fi's and way, way better. You know, for years I've been using Wi-Fi routers and I have to say, and always had dropouts, always had issues, until I bought this. It's just on another level, it really is. Um, 
but you do need some basic knowledge to configure the software. So you'll get one of these, and then you'll you'll load the software onto your onto your computer, Windows, whatever it is, if, um, OS X. Uh, I believe they support every operating system out there, but I, I, I can't vouch for that. I believe so when I, when I took a quick look. But you will go in the software, it will locate your access point. And I said an access point because it only adds the Wi-Fi functionality. So the routing functionality, putting the network together, sending the packets out, will still come from your router. And it's not a bridge because it's not joining two separate networks. So you will load the software on. It will locate if you've got one, two, three. The soft you have to locate the access points, but but it's easy done. So you'll you'll set it up, connect to your router, connect to your power, locate it what you want, where you want, and then you go into your software. It first locates uh, the Unify, and then it lo the software will open up in your browser, um, and it will show you all the Unifiers that you've got adopted into that software, and then you can start. It's actually got a floor plan there, so if you have multiple access points, you can so you know where you can name them all individually and locate them exactly where you want on the floor plan. It is so scalable, it's ridiculous. You can even use these to set up a paid Wi-Fi. You know, as you go into a hotel or restaurants or wherever you go and you log on and it opens up a browser and you, you pay for access. You can even use the software to do that. You can link it to a PayPal account. And or you can ha and you can hand out vouchers and you can all that can be done within the software. So you can, if you don't want to ever do that, you don't have to touch it. But all those options are there. So you do get these in a, a lot of commercial properties because it's so scalable. When you're buying these, the thing to be looking out for is what is what protocol you want. You can get the pro version or the light version. I think the only real differences. One of them has um, two Ethernet ports on it uh, for more options. You can, one has, I think is two times MIMO, one is three times. So you, you, but you'll see when you go and look at them, I mean if you go on their website, it will tell you the maximum speeds to expect at 2.4 gigahertz at 5 gigahertz. Obviously 5 gigahertz is what you want to switch into because it's less congested. Um, you'll, probably, you'll get better signal for now. If you want AC, the thing about AC is, is at, although it's faster, it actually supports officially um, a shorter range, and that's to do with the frequencies. So you do want to think out exactly what you're trying to do. I mean, if you're trying to go through brick walls, you're actually better off um, just on the end protocol rather than AC. Um, but of course, um, it supports, you know, the 20 millihertz channels, 40 millihertz, 80 millihertz, so all the options are there. Just look at what the maximum speeds are. And at the end of the day, in, in real life, you don't really, I mean, although your link speed may be faster, your transfers and what you're doing on your, on your network is probably not going to be that different. There's always a big overhead on anything you do over Wi Fi. This is only, this is only at 2.4 gigahertz, and um, I just got the basic one at the time. <laughs> I didn't really think it through, but actually thought it came with a five gigahertz. But yeah, make sure you, if you want, if five gigahertz is important, which it should be now, um, make sure it supports that. So this one just calls itself Unify AP, but the others will um, should say exactly what they are on there when you when you're looking for it. But you know, I, I can't I can't say enough about it. It just it just takes you know all the nightmares out of your Wi-Fi. It just works basically. It doesn't mean to say you'll never get problems because you some of the problems may be with your devices. So then it doesn't really mean you're going to get faster speeds than you're going to get with, with another uh, router come wireless jobby. But it's it's going to do it more reliably, uh, more, um, more resiliently. So you're going to get lost drop. I don't get any dropouts really. So you know all those, oh you've lost connection for a second, all those glitches basically go. And it, it can grow into any system you want. It really is great. Another thing I like is um, They've got a really active forum. If you go on their website and go to their community section, um, there's a really active forum, which is always good. It's always a big help when uh, something comes with a, an active forum, you know, for your little issues. But I have to say, actually, even in their software, um, it's got 24-7 chat support, and it's actually quite good, even on a weekend and uh, unsociable hours. I've gone on it, and 
someone's been there within a few minutes, I've got to say that works really well, which is really nice. I can't really think of anyone else who does that at this sort of level. I mean, it was only 60 quid. I know they're supporting Enterprise, look, at the end of the day, it's an Enterprise equipment, but they're giving the same support to consumers in a way, which is great. Something to bear in mind is um, when you go, when you load up their software, the channel it selects will be in auto mode. And it just, for, for me, it always seems to just stick it on channel one. So you want to sort out uh, the best channel to put that on. Best way to do that is get yourself um, a little Wi-Fi analyzer app and see less congested channels wherever you are. Um, and make me put this channel number on that. So when you, when, if you use these, if you use the non-AC ones and you're using zero handover, you have to have them all on the same channel. Um, so if you're going to have loads of them, it's going to be quite awkward because all the access points will be on the same channel, so they're, you know, they're congesting each other. Uh, it's just a small issue, but I don't know if you'd really run into that problem in the real world. So yeah, I mean, you can get their routers, you can get their switches, but I have to say, I mean, using that with my TP-Link 600, 120 pound together, it, it's, it works absolutely fine. You know, I've got security um, software within that router, uh, so it's, it, for me, it works at this level. Obviously, if you're in a commercial environment, you're going to need more options. They, the thing is, if you go into their software, a lot of those options are unlocked by using their other hardware. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Uh, but at the consumer level, if you're just sitting at home, yeah, I, t the TP-Link and this were a perfect match. You know, you, I've had really expensive routers and, and had no ends of issues. You know, always cutting out and dropouts. And, but keep it, it seems to be keep everything simple get specialised gear for each job you really want it to do and um, you don't get those other issues that you get from jack of all trades equipment. So yeah, I hope somebody finds that uh, useful. Thank you.